Well, MGC member is going to be coming to you today. I'm coming to you from near the 17th green where we have one of our new cart paths here. Uh, this last week has been very eventful. Starting on Thursday, we started the project of resurfacing these cart paths and that's going to end here today when you are getting this video on Monday. Then we just have to get some uh, curbing that's going to go on in certain spots on all the part threes and some other select places out here. And this will be a great project to get done here this week coming up. Also at the pool, we've been doing a lot of work around that as well, replacing the coping that goes all the way around the edge of the pool. So lots of things going on out here at the club. So just have a few things to go over with you here today. And to start off, I wanna go back to last week. I spoke a little bit about making sure that we are always fixing up our ball marks and fixing one other one. And then also the divots, making sure that we are replacing those divots first. Noticing over this last week, once we're getting the sand and seed bottles back on your carts and push carts, that uh, maybe people are using those bottles, using that sand and seed to replace the divots. Um, always know the divot is first. If we can replace that divot, stomp it into place, and then maybe sprinkle a little of that sand seed mix around it, that is the very best. If you do happen to take a divot and it is unrepairable, then by all means, take that sand and seed mix, sprinkle it in the bottom there, and uh, move on from there. So please, if you can do that, uh, help keep our golf course in the best condition it can possibly be. And one other thing too, that we haven't been doing over the last year and a half basically, is uh, having to worry about the bunkers. So now we are playing it as it lies in the bunkers. So um, and we have rakes around those bunkers as well. So make sure you are using those rakes to uh, try to repair that bunker when you hit a shot, no matter if it's the first time and the first thing in the morning, or if it is uh, the last round in the evening, make sure you are always using those rakes to smooth out that surface for the person that's coming behind you if they happen to hit it in that bunker as well. Other things to make note of. So you all are probably aware that the CDC came out with guidelines to uh, for those who are vaccinated uh, that do not need to wear masks indoors and also the mandate that was, uh, uh, was taken away by the governor that he rescinded here just late this last week. So with that, uh, MGC is following those guidelines of the CDC and that of the state. So as of now, uh, do not need to wear masks indoors. Uh, it is recommended, as the CDC says, for those who are not vaccinated to wear those masks indoors and then outdoors, uh, masks are not required. By all means, anybody who feels more comfortable wearing those masks, please do so. Uh, but it is no longer required when you are in the clubhouse here at the club. Then one last thing. Uh, to mention to you. So Chef Matt, been here for 19 years, has moved on. He is taking over a restaurant here in the Mankato area. Chef Matt, I uh, want to say thank you to him for all the years of service that he has, has uh, put in here at the golf club. We wish him the very best. And also we want to, we are excited to have Chef Kyle Moore joining us here this upcoming week. I can't wait to see what Kyle has to come up with for us. He is starting officially this Thursday on May 20th. So uh, be looking for him. You'll see a bio of him within these happenings here. So uh, we can't wait to see what he comes up with here as we head into the bulk of our season here at the club. So with that said, folks, I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you again real soon.